Hi everybody. Hi guys. Uh, it's Thursday Thoughts at 3 with Susan and Jackie. How are you all today? How's it going? Are you enjoying the spring air? Mm. I don't know. I don't know about you, but the other day I went for a walk. I saw. In the nature center. Oh my God. For me to get grounded in nature with the oxygen in the air mm. and the and the budding leaves and the water running and mm. the ducks and geese are out. It was just so reinvigorating. I love it. I can we do one of our next we, Thursday thoughts at three yeah, over there? Yeah, we'll do it. Do I would Thursday love thoughts that. at three I at would, the nature center. I would love it. My husband and I walked around the city this weekend. It was absolutely glorious. The street vendors, the people, the skateboards, the babies, the children, the brunches on Sunday. It just felt so good to get the weather back again. Hope you all are feeling the same way we are. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few weeks ago, Susan and I were talking about how we were trying to get out of the winter doldrums. And now we're at a point where it is spring and it's another cycle and we are overstimulated <laughs> overexcited yeah you know it's so interesting because you know I was just I just got a card and talk about respecting your cycle and I guess the winter cycle is about cocooning in the fall we planted our seed we're like this little caterpillar in the winter we cocoon yes we do and so what do we do with the seeds that was planted over the winter we kind of like create muscles and and water it and nurture it and even though we don't feel so great, what we're doing is really strengthening our muscles, strengthening our wings. Absolutely. To come out of our cocoon. It's so true. I, it's true. I mean, I talk to a lot of my clients about that, as I'm sure you do too, through your art, which is, oh, I love it. Thank you. But for me, having the conversation, everybody talks when they're with me about staying in a marriage, not staying in a marriage. It's the most uncomfortable feeling in the whole world. If any of you guys have been through it, I can only imagine, the, I know, Susan doesn't really know, but what it's like, thank God, to make those decisions, and it's at that point, and I use the cocoon butterfly theory also, that you are so uncomfortable, and that's at the point when literally you are breaking free, and you become that butterfly, but for a lot of people, it is so uncomfortable, they choose to stay wrapped in the cocoon, or like Susan said, have someone break it open for you. And you know what? If you don't do the work, you don't appreciate the reward or the beauty of what lies ahead. Yeah, it's kind of like if somebody breaks into a cocoon when your wings are not ready to, to be strong enough to fly, right. you're gonna fall, you know? So you gotta do it on your own. You gotta mm -hmm. do your own strength. I mean, we can guide, we can help. Right. But you gotta do the work. Absolutely, absolutely. So here we are invigorated for the spring and we've gone the other, I've gone the other way. Uh, I know Susan. We've been very busy lately. We are overextended. <laughs> so now the opposite problem exists. What do you do to bring it in? So you don't feel like you're that little hamster on the treadmill and you're all of a sudden you're, you have too many deadlines and you're all over the place and your brain just stops working because it can't handle it. It's an overload right now. So, I have a few tips that I started using. Go ahead, go for your tips. First of all, always still remember to put yourself first. But it's it has, not selfish to do so. Absolutely not, because if you don't do it at the beginning of the day, you never get it done. So that's why exercise at the beginning of the day is important. Or mindfulness or any of right. these things. Journaling, meditating, before you get out of bed. And one thing that's really important to do, which most people, I don't know if they do or they don't, it's called make your bed. Yes. That is a completion of a task, which in your head also starts the cycle of how your day is. It's a completion of a right. task. Right. And but not only that, I look as like, you know, sometimes you're tired and you just want to get back into bed. And that ah. is like, you know, if it's made already, you don't do it. So, you know, right. get out and move on. Get out and move on. Yeah. So clear the brain of a lot of the stuff. If you find you're in overwhelm, another great thing to do is stop, take 10 minutes, make a list of everything that's on your head, brain dump, and then pick the top three things, and then pick the top one thing, and scale it down to that place that 
the overwhelm goes away. You don't forget anything, right. but pick and choose your priorities. I agree with you. I do the same thing, but I have two lists. Oh, okay. I have like, you know, what you need to do list, you know, what you need to do for others and what you need to do for yourself list. Oh, I like that. So that there's a balance in your week, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes we feel overwhelmed by giving and giving, and giving, and we forget ourselves. So, oh, yeah. you know, that meditation, the exercise is really for ourselves, but sometimes you just might want to get a manicure, you know, <laughs> or sometimes you might just need that, you know, that eyebrow wax or whatever it is you need or massage. Oh, yeah, um, totally. And you should honor yourself. And so many women feel like, no, they don't deserve it, but we do. Oh, no, do. you do. You and do. Not only you deserve it, you, you must have it. You must in order to give and give off uh you know help others as well so there's two lists so there's that there's family there's also there's the family list there's the business list and there's the me list uh -huh. so what needs and how do you divide it i mean right, right now we have to worry about the holiday seasons coming up yeah. so there's family and you have to honor that and you have to honor your business and you have to honor yourself and be ready and oh, yeah passover easter a lot of preparation lot of preparation all good it's all good it's all about renewal spring is all it about is. renewal I mean I'm watching these little like flowers budding oh, and the daffodils are growing and I don't know if you know I have this thing about yellow flowers I don't know, you know my story I did not know that I do yeah. and so first there's the yellow flowers um, it became a symbol for my parents I no longer have my parents mm -hmm. but many many years ago I had gone to visit my parents in the cemetery and I was feeling really down and all of a sudden, I looked down between their stones. There's a one yellow, little dandelion, yellow one. Mm. And there was nowhere else in the cemetery except that place. Wow. And I went back and I drew, because that's what I do. I doodled my thoughts. And that dandelion in my dorm became gigantic. Wow. Nice. And I came my protection. So every time I'm feeling down, I think about hope and protection and so forth. So that's my yellow flower. But then I went to get a, a card read. It was a yellow card. And it was a daffodil. Mm. And I was supposed to be speaking at some point, and I was like afraid to speak. It was the first time. So the card, the guy who read the card to me says, it's a daffodil, it has a mouth. You need to speak, you need to get out there. You need to, you have so much knowledge, you have to toot your own horn, which I'm shy a little bit, you know, yeah. at first. So the daffodils, the yellow flowers are very important to me. So that gives me a sign of hope. And you know, people have symbols. Do you have a symbol that you can, that you like, gives you that aha, oh, yes. remember. Hamsters. Hamsa. I actually always have a hamsa on me. I have one on me now. It could be little. It could be on my wrist. I have hamsas in my home. It's it's my light, my God. He, he's watching over me and my family. And that, to right. me, is yeah. I love wherever that. I go, I pick them up just yeah, to have them. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, for those who don't know, it's the evil eye or, you know, mm -hmm. or the hand with the eye. The hands of God, I, anything like that. Watching right. over me and my family. Very important, yeah. So, like what you're saying, write your list and take your top priorities of all of them in each list, break them down to tiny steps, and even put a deadline on it, you know, so that you get things accomplished and you put it in your notebook, your in your planner, or your phone, and however you and do you it, check it off. Something about checking it off that feels so, good. Yeah, and I also I because I'm art, I like color code, like this is business, this is you know family, this is me. Ugh. So you see the pretty colors in your. Yeah, I actually <laughs> have that in my um, calendar. Okay. On my phone, but at home, I'm just a plain old gray pencil kind of I'm girl. with you. I'm with you, though. I'm but I do you. love the color. I actually, when I do use color, I use green. Okay. For go. Okay. For money. Yeah. It, it, for some growth. reason, green and growth. Yeah, it growth. propels me in a lot of areas. But yeah, I hope you guys are um, understanding what we're talking about. I hope we're able to help you in some way. And um, yeah, if, feel free to you know reach out to either one of us. Yeah. We offer you thirty minute consultation if you want us to help strategize and and organize what you have coming up for you and get yourself going on the right path. We're happy to do so. Um, I work with art as a way of seeing you know our subconscious. So if there's something that's keeping you from moving forward, I'm happy to help you. And Jackie certified divorce coach and a life coach with a specialty and um, just remember whatever's going on in your life the past has been written but you always get to write the next chapter never feel stuck and that's what we try to do in our different um, ways modalities the modalities <laughs> that was the word see the word thank you very this much this is why teamwork is important always <laughs>
two half brains make a whole and works out really well. So again, if you need anything, this is Jackie Atchison, Certified Divorce Coach at Better Path to Divorce. And you could reach me on my webpage at betterpathtodivorce.com. And, and I'm Susan Greif, speaker, author, and owner of Art Men's Hearts. I use art as a way of seeing your subconscious so you can see what keeps you feeling panicked, powerless, paralyzed, and in pain. And I propel you to a healthy and happier balanced lifestyle with a mended heart. Everybody. You can reach me at artmensheartscom You can email me at artmensheartz at gmail.com or just private message me here. Everybody have a great week. And Take care. Peace, peace out. out.